I was born in St Mary's Chantry, and then when I was five or six, we came over to this house, which was a shop, and my mother ran the shop until, well, she ran it for 40 years. Dr Eskew used to take his car to the garage. When my father started there, it was owned by Eddie Price. Dr Eskew used to come in the shop and ask if he used to come in when he wasn't, his wife wouldn't let him smoke. <laughs> and he used to come and he'd say to my mother, is the old so-and-so in the kitchen? And she'd say, yes. He said, good, I'll go and have a fag with him. <laughs> he was just a character. He was a jolly good doctor, but he was quite amused. I mean, he, he was very forthright. I mean, if you were ill, he was the best bloke ever. But if you tried to swing the leg, he would tell you, you know. He was always a character. Straight, honest, you know, just a good doctor. <laughs> I just, uh, he had a, a daughter, Vicky had a, a pony, a little cob, a coloured cob which he used to get on and go out for a ride in the morning, five o'clock, half past five. But he would? He would. He'd be trotting around the village on his cob in the morning. But the the pony used to come and stand in our yard outside the shop because my mother always gave it a carrot. And if he came by at half past five in the morning, the horse wouldn't go by. He used to come in there and he'd be, stood, he'd be sat out there shouting, blaspheming because he couldn't get it out of the yard. And so my mother used to have to get up give it a carrot before it would leave. <laughs> and then she would go on. <laughs> He'd be out in the yard, just you know, shouting and say, oh, you know, something horse will <laughs> move. Oh, he had a dog called Hector, which he took everywhere with him. Doesn't matter if he was going to see a patient or whether he wasn't, there was always Hector. And Hector was always in, out or about the surgery or down at the house, or he'd come up to the surgery, but Hector was always outside. He was always there. He used to take him down to Lindy Hospital as well. <laughs> he'd walk around the pipe in his mouth and Hector. <laughs> oh, he took over the moat and did that. He was on the plane. I think he was on the plane for the committee. I think he just was centre of the village. Yeah. yeah.